common cues. Today's question asks, why should we pick a religion when we can be just spiritual? Many of us do feel the need for spirituality. We may, for instance, acknowledge that we're more than a material being. But at the same time, we may be hesitant to make the necessary commitment and join an organized religion, especially since we've rarely heard good things associated with organized religion. Why join something that ignites conflict when you can be spiritual and enjoy the guidance of your inner life, right? So we try to take in the soul and dispose of the structure. But what is spirituality anyway? A general definition given for spirituality is knowing who you are and connecting to something bigger than yourself. Now, how is that different from religion? Some think of religions as dry structures void of spirituality, a mere list of do's and don'ts that were made to enslave people with the promise of landing in heaven or burning in hell. But is that really the case? Let's examine differences. Since spirituality doesn't have a single specific definition, let me tell you one specific religion that I know fairly well. The religion I follow, Islam, is basically my answer to three main questions. Who am I? What was the purpose of my creation? And how can I achieve it? According to Islam, humans were created because God is creative and merciful. In short, and the purpose of their creation is to worship the one and only God, not because He needs their worship, but because through worshiping Him, they can reach their utmost potential. Now, when it comes to how to worship, there are specific guidelines. The mandatory, the forbidden, the encouraged, the disliked, and everything else in between. These acts are what many fail to see the soul in. But is that true? Take the five daily prayers, for instance. Yes, they consist of rituals which are uniform among Muslims, but they also serve to remind us of our purpose and keep us on the path. In praying five times every day, we're reminded that the point in all our daily actions, from the career we pursue, to the purchases we make, to the way we treat others, is supposed to be in line with God's satisfaction. So long as we follow the instructions with the right intention, that is to reach God's satisfaction, not fame and fortune, for example, we can have high hopes that we're on the right path. In Islam, aside from the designated acts of worship like fasting, every lawful act you do with God's satisfaction in mind is also considered an act of worship, so that your mind and your actions go hand in hand to work as one towards a single purpose. Organized religions also help keep us organized because Islam is not only about individual duties. Like other organized religions, there are rights and responsibilities in Islam. Your worship is not complete unless you fulfill your responsibility towards God's creation. Every Muslim has responsibilities towards their family members, friends, neighbors, and even other living creatures. Praying individually, for instance, is accepted but not preferred. Muslims are encouraged to pray in mass, to inquire about the well-being of their Muslim brothers and sisters in mosques, and to unite as a community, one that has power, one that can bring about change. So it is with, not despite, all these practices that Islam remains spiritual. It's a practical path towards the one and only God, a path that passes through the individual and society, through actions and intentions. So finally, religion or spirituality? Well, for me, for the reason I told you and much more, I chose a specific organized religion over a general concept of spirituality. What about you? Looking forward to reading your answers down here in the comments.